Hi everyone, welcome to J&D Gardens. If you're a new viewer, welcome. Please support the channel by planting that subscribe button. And if you're already a viewer, welcome back. Today we're gonna wrap up our winter composting series with episode six, where we're gonna show you how to process all your compost and get it ready for your planter beds or your potting mixes. So stick around. So if you saw in our last episode, we showed you how we were able to get our compost pile done after only six weeks, looking great and ready to use. But an extra step that we like to take here at j and is we like to screen or sift out our compost. And that's to get out any of the big materials that didn't quite break down over that time. Now, a good rule of thumb when, if you're gonna screen out your compost is you actually wanna let it dry out a little bit. We actually haven't touched our compost pile in about two weeks. We haven't given them water or anything. And the reason why is that if it's a little drier, it's easier to work with. One is if it's wet, it'll be a lot heavier when you're shoveling it out. And two, if it's still a little wet, uh, too wet, it might clog up the, the holes in your screener. So just try to let it dry out for a little while and you'll find it's a lot easier to work with. Now, we have uh, about four yards of compost to sift out today, so uh, we're not gonna be able to use our regular box screen or our slanted screener. We're gonna have to use something a little bit bigger. We're gonna have to break out the big guns. And today we're gonna use Zeus, our uh, powered sifter. So let me set everything up and we'll get started. Uh, looking great, looking great. All right, so. The way uh, Zeus works, it works very much like a slanted sifter. We'll actually throw the material up here and we have a motor that vibrates the t uh, this table and all the good material will come out screened to this wheelbarrow that I have underneath it and all the uh, leftover, the big pieces, all the junk <laughs> will fall into this trough where we'll uh, use it later on in another compost pile. So let me turn on the machine. We'll show you how we do it. It's a lot of noise, so. So as you can see, it really does a great job se uh, separating. Let me bring the camera around to show you how we do it. So if you see, as I place the material, all the fresh material will come over here and everything will roll down to the end. Let me turn, turn this on again. As you see, 
the material is really broken down, nice and fluffy. Now, believe it or not, this uh, still is a little too wet, but it's, it's workable. And uh, so let me bring, if you bring the camera over here, you see all the bigger chunks are falling down to here. Now, if it was a little drier, it would break it up a little bit, but I'm gonna run, uh, run as much as I can through the sifter, and then I'm gonna run this again, maybe once or twice, just to get any of the last material, uh, any of the loose material out of it. And like I said, whatever, uh, we compost year round, so whatever doesn't get broken down now uh, for this pile, we'll just add it to our spring and summer pile as we go along. So let me continue here. So that's the reason why you want, why you'll want to make sure that your compost is uh, pretty dry, because uh, whereas whereas it's not clogging up my screener, but it is going down a little slow because it's still a little wet, so it's just getting caught there, and it's uh, just going to take me a couple of times to run this through again and get as much material as I can. But uh, that's okay; uh, it'll be worth it at the end. And like I said, whatever we don't use, we'll just throw it in another pile. So there you go. You can have your compost looking just like this right out, of, right out of your bin. Or with a little bit of extra effort, you can have it looking like this. Nice, soft, fluffy, airy, ready to be used. I tell you, you can't buy this stuff in the stores. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, if you, uh, like I've said before, if you're not composting, you really ought to. You can save yourself a ton of money. And if winter composting is not for you, that's fine. We do composting year round, so we have a bunch of videos already, uh, already on our channel you can take a look at, and we're gonna just continue doing them as uh, the seasons go on. So if you have any questions with composting or uh, any questions in general, please leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And be sure to hit like and subscribe and ring that bell. So from all of us at JD Gardens, till next time, remember, yes we can. Uh,